Hello, welcome to another video in the beautiful little village of Villafort. The highest village, not only in Tenerife, but I think in the world. <laughs> you it up. Make it up, but <laughs> don't, make sure you just don't fact check me on any of this stuff, guys, all right? Lots of inaccurate facts coming your way. Lots of inaccurate facts. <laughs> just pretend this is pre-Google. <laughs> the highest village in the world, guys. Don't Google it. Anyway, have a look around and we're going to hit the trail. It's a, a 10k trail through pine forests uh, resulting in these beautiful sort of lunar landscapes they're built as. You looked like you were going to go for me there, didn't you, Tiger? <laughs> For, this, for anyone who watched our last hike, I left a link to the OS map below. I'll do the same again. We've plotted out our route. I'll put a little thing on the screen now to show you. But if you want to find out more about that, I'll leave a link to the OS, um, our exact OS maps below. You can follow that. This is the sign for the trail. We were just looking around and then you see this. And this is just the same as the acorn is for the national trails in the UK. So when you see these three stripes, you know you're pretty much on the right path. Even though we're just going underneath this house we're above the clouds now it's absolutely beautiful oh my god that is so bizarre <laughs> it's like someone's turned the sky upside down it is yeah isn't it yeah because you can't see a drop it's just like we're in the clouds we're in the village Whoa. in the clouds oh i love it it's stunning i hadn't even noticed that until you said it the whole round trip all, all the statistics the elevation the miles or kilometers or everything like that will be on my OS map, which I'm going to do for my hikes from now on. I'm not sponsored by OS, it's nothing to do with them. This is just, I thought it would be just good for you hikers out there to be able to look at our exact route. Here we have some prickly pear, F prickly pear. Ooh. You de jacketing? Yeah, it's hot already. It's hot already. I mean, it was cold when we got out of the car, and who knows when we get right to the top and we stop for our terrible picnic. Our picnic? Yeah. Guys, last time Fern made us some lovely sandwiches and we had crisps. It was a nice picnic, wasn't it? Yeah. This time, not so good. Because of the stinky Airbnb, though. Oh, yeah, because we stayed in a stink. Oh, I mean, let's not get... <laughs> I don't get too much into it, but... So we're trying to, on this trip, we're trying to keep costs down and we're uh, staying in the cheapest places we can, making our own dinners and stuff and... The Airbnb we got in last night just stunk, man. It smelled like someone's gran had just lived in it all their lives or whatever. And she smoked 50 a day. And she smoked 50 a day. So we just weren't feeling it, weren't feeling making food in there. And also we wanted to do something that was down in the south, not as lush. There's no sea involved in this one. And it's like this, look, there's a lot of pine and it'll be drier and the views will be different and the payoff's different last time it was the sea this time it's the lunar landscape which we'll get into when we get there <laughs> uh, already out of breath. she's out of breath because it's so high up the air is a lot thinner so you do get a bit gassed out more than you normally would well civilians my eye can't tell the difference but civilians might struggle also last time we drove up into the mountains and then we walk down the mountain this time we've driven up into the mountains and we're still going up so it really is high and you can you can feel the air being a bit thinner at the back of your at the back of your drawer of your breath beautiful and fresh though oh, that's too bad. I didn't. So, <laughs> so do you know what else the air smells so good yeah that's because we've been living in some old ladies <laughs> bra for the last 24 hours you know like in the really early days of star trek here we go nerd out nerd nerd alert no but go on tell us <laughs> you do not no don't but tell us and they had the sets and they you know they were like out of world sets but they were all made of like paper polystyrene yeah it looks like that all right i'll be i'm obviously spock <laughs> i think you're spotty uh my ears suggest otherwise <laughs> It 
So normally it would be uh, nettle protein balls, <laughs> but this time it's uh, mambo. Like if this hike didn't turn into a good hike, we're thinking, let's just get a load of bizarre foods from the supermarket <laughs> and eat them. And then you guys can see us eat bizarre foods. Which sounds boring, but it stemmed from Paul getting like this weird kind of yogurt slash custard pot that had a soggy biscuit on top. So we the, were like... I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking that. Yeah, it was just like, it looked like it had a crispy bi biscuit on top of a yogurt, but it was just a soggy biscuit on top of a custard yogurt. And at first, disgusting. We only absolutely loved them. Stormed through a pack of... By the sixth one, I'd fall in <laughs> love with them. Yeah, I've got Stockholm Syndrome with the soggy yogurts. This so, is quite nice. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, sorry, I ate mine. <laughs> Classic. Mm. What flavour? Orange. It's just basically an orange Malawam for those who are interested. Also, hit the like button if you'd like to see me review a soggy biscuit yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Look at Attenborough. Look at Fern filming a lizard. Bye, buddy. He's gone. You told me if you grab them, their tails fall off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then that is not cool. I was going to say sorry for all the like overseas hiking, but I'm not sorry because. It's, uh, you can't really showcase what Tenerife has to offer in one video of one hike because it's ever changing and I wanted to show you, or we wanted to show you what it was like in the south of the island as well as in the temperate rainforests of the north. And look at it, it's all like piney and it's very, I don't know, where would you say it was like? Scotland, but dr like a dry, warm Scotland in ways. <laughs> Someone's put them there. Them like no. <laughs> it's an acorn can. A can. Mm. 2.7k from Villa Flor. So it's a nice little sort of little starter. A little aperitif, just something to get you going, get your blood flowing before you take on the uh, the main loop. And as you can see, you can park up here if you want. And you'll see on my map below that where this is so it's a bit of a dirt track but if you don't fancy doing that bit up from Villa then you can easily park here and do the loop which a lot of people will be doing so I'm expecting it to be quite busy up at the loon a bit. I was just deliberating which way is best to go. I, well, what I read I just assumed it went clockwise but I don't think there's any particular reason for that. I was just blindly following other people there which is often a mistake I've made and it's not it's backfired. Yeah, right have a good hike. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> Map time. So, if it's like a lasso, we've come up there. We decided to go let. <laughs> this. Ca I cannot <laughs> live like this. Joey D, come back. I miss you. <laughs> this is starting to look. A lot like a lunar landscape. Tenerife is windy, isn't it? Yeah. It's very windy and the wind just whips around it and just like water does uh, on the rock, the wind does the same and creates all these wonderful shapes which will get a lot better as we go up. And it is very Star Trek-y. You were right, Fern? Mm-hmm. Congratulate. And it is literally just where the wind has whipped it, whipped it all away. Well, don't Google it, but yeah, <laughs> the landscape has changed underfoot. It's gone, it's gone a lot more volcanic now, which is this sort of rock, not what you want to be falling over on. <laughs> so I think this is at the top of our hike. So. That's where we've come from, 5.8k that way. We're gonna go that way, which continues the loop, I believe. I'll have to do a quick map check. Ooh, no, we're gonna continue up. So we're not halfway. Put our jackets on, because it's getting a bit chilly. We're stopping for a luxurious, try not to wobble this camera too much, because someone did put, uh, call me out for being a wobbler, as he says like, hey! <laughs> Look at that trail snacks of champions oreo biscuit and we're just gonna sit here have some fruit maybe a couple of oreos and watch this beautiful scenery and it's like watching a time lapse in real life you can see the uh, the clouds just rolling over the trees 
cute clip. I'm not filming this. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Well, I thought I'd make you a double cream Oreo and take a sacrifice and take two biscuits dry. and then dry. Dry, like, yeah. It's the sacrifice, oh. And then give you a double Oreo as a treat. Right. But what's happened is I've just made two Oreos. <laughs> I'm not sure how I've done it. She basically just got two Oreos out of the packet, one for me, one for you. And then swapped the lid. <laughs> and then swapped the lid. I think I'll just stick to this one here. You, you <laughs> knock yourself out. Thanks for the, for the support. Look at that. Oreos. Get at me. We'll work from for now. Can we have the double cream one? Oreos. <laughs> You're just eating two Oreos now. He was like... Proof how much I love you by eating two Oreos <laughs> in front of you whilst telling you that you could have had something really nice. Like I said before, guys, not a team player when it comes to snacks. Well, I'll keep your eye on this one. Let's go and find these lunar rocks that everyone keeps rattling on about. He's running back, look. Twice the hike. There's no water in sight, and this is more, wait. This is more like uh, the Canary Islands that, that I know of. Um, it's just that the north was so wet. Look at the size of this cone here. He's a beauty. I'd have that on my mantelpiece if I had room in me uh, carry-on luggage, which I don't, so I'll leave him there. See ya. That you feel the cold coming in and I've got to be careful because I've just slipped already and if you slipped off there it'd be it's game over basically isn't it that's it life life done good old life thanks for joining me and there down there you can see the lunar rocks but it's all just come a bit cloudy see them there that's them and up there as fern falls into the back of me and we both go tumbling to our death <laughs> here we are look at this and it's just because the wind has just come up this valley and just whipped whipped all these rocks over a long time, hundreds of years. I'm no geologist, I don't know. A long time. Months! And formed all these lovely little sculptures. And it's the same over there in that other valley. You can see just on the other side of the hill there. All just chewed out of the rocks. So this particular bit must be this sandstone and the rest. As you can see, it's like volcanic rock. It's a harder sort of rock, so... Obviously this gives way, you get left with these beautiful sculptures. And we've climbed all the way, we found it. Again, it's not as changing as up in the north, but the landscape does change a lot and you get these lovely little surprises around every corner and this is like some sort of dried riverbed, it looks like. I wish I knew more about geology so I could drop some fact bombs on you. And this probably is a dried riverbed or was at some point a riverbed. Fern, are you agreeing or not? Yeah, I agree. And I was also wondering, you know in Top Gun... <laughs> 
Yes. Where he has to fly through Maverick. Maverick, Maverick has to fly through the ravine. Yeah. Could you fly your drone through that ravine in the same fashion? Q clip. Better than our Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> it smells nice. It smells a lot nicer. And there we are. That's the loop part of this. So we've only got to walk back down this steep bit to Villefort village. The village. There we are. Pretty much back to the village now. And uh, sorry, it ain't been as diverse as our last hike up north in Tenerife, but that's what it is. It's been a good hike to uh, to follow because it's really easy. The footpaths are all pretty well signposted. You get a payoff of the the uh, lunar landscape halfway round. We have taken it easy and stopped on the way and stopped for a, our picnic and stuff. And we've not been gunning it. We've done it around six hours. So I recommend it. It's nothing too strenuous. It's not going to pop your lungs. You need to have a good level of fitness, though. It is high altitude, and there are some steep bits. All the information will be below on the uh, OS maps. <laughs> the elation isn't the same as on our last day. It's not like, wait, we made it. It's like, oh, do we get to eat now and drink? Is it dinner time? Is it dinner time? That's the main. That's, <laughs> that's when you'll see me at my most elated. Like the next time someone puts a plate of food down in front of me. That's happy times, isn't it? Wow. Let's get you some food then. <laughs> it's been a tough one, isn't it? It's the altitude, I think. Yeah, and the last one, like we got amazing beach and we were like, yeah, beach times. And the rocks were good, but you can't splash around in a rock. <laughs> no, you cannot. You can't drink a pint of, a cool pint of rock, can <laughs> no. you? So, you can't. Yeah, I think it's the payoff. I mean, it's a good thing to go and see. But the payoff isn't like, we're not jumping around going, way. we found the rocks. Yeah, and like cooling off. Yeah. Like you just walk and it's hot and then you keep walking and it's still hot. Yeah, there's no water on this one. <laughs> there's no water on this one. But a lovely way to spend the day. Yeah, and it was really nice. We've earned... It was very pretty. Like our first beers yes. and our food oh my God. is going to be great. Heaven. Uh, what do we do? Do we knuckles nowadays? Um, you put I, your knuckle out and I'll shake it like an awkward shake. Okay. Go. Um, um oh, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.